Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we did a Red Dead Online Newswire update, and uh, yeah, we got one today that actually covers GTA and Red Dead Online. And uh, we won't really go too much on GTA, but we'll go specifically on Red Dead Online. And by looking at it, Red Dead Online is dead, at least for the foreseeable future. So let's get into it real quick. Uh, the first part here just talks about Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online community update, the latest on what's to come this summer and beyond. Um, so it says, as we look at what's in store for the Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their unmatched enthusiasm and commitment to all of our titles. It is your support that drives us to keep pushing forward with everything we do. And we are excited to share with you the first details around upcoming updates and more. Um, so it says with more players ever taking to the streets of Los Santos, you know, this is all talking about GTA Online. Um, just in a few short weeks, they're going to get an update. GTA Online is going to get a DLC. Uh, and it's going to be a pretty good size one. Talk about criminal careers, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a good update. It's going to be a good update. Uh, so let's go on down here. And it says update will feature changes long been requested. They're getting all the bells and whistles they want. I'm not hating on the GTA Online community. I love the GTA Online community. I do still at times jump into GTA Online and enjoy it. So let's just separate the fact of that, you know, GTA Online pit players don't hate us. They're just playing a game. Um, and then increasing all kinds of stuff, blah, blah, blah. All great stuff, great stuff for them. Now it comes to Red Dead Online. This is what they choose to say about it. it. says, we would like to thank the Red Dead Online community for their continued support and dedication. Over the past few years, we have been steadily moving more development resources towards the next entry in Grand Theft Auto series. So there's a, there's a scapegoat right there. Understanding more than ever the need to exceed players' expectations for this next entry to be the best it possibly can be. And as a result, we're in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. They're making no changes. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. Firstly, with both the new experienced players engaging in the wealth and activities already added to the massive rich world. So we're all talking about already added stuff, including the specialist roles, story-based cooperative missions, competitive showdown modes, and much more. We will continue to showcase these unique additions, just showcasing them, nothing new to them through the Red Dead Online's monthly events as we move forward. So players of all levels can enjoy everything in that vast frontier has to offer. So it's just, we're gonna tell people about the stuff they have and every once in a while have Double Trader, Double Moonshine, stuff like that. Which Double Trader and Double Moonshine is good. Along seasonal special events and experience improvements, plus other changes to enhance and maintain a healthy Red Dead Online environment, we plan to build upon existing modes and add new Telegram missions this year. Rather than, rather than delivering major theme content updates like in the previous years. So they're gonna give us new Telegram missions. Telegram missions are the bottom feeding garbage. They're a, they're a tier above blood money uh, and they're, they suck. They're solo based. You can't play them with your friends. They're solo based, they suck. Uh, even though you get a Telegram for CTA, I'm talking about Telegram missions. Um, but you know, they said they're gonna, you know, enhance and maintain a healthy red deadline environment. Does that mean for over almost over a year, almost close to a year and a half, uh, off radar hasn't been uh, patched at least a year. God mode hasn't been patched. It's been known well of for seven months, but it's been out more than that. Um, where, where's that at? Those are easy ones. If that was in GTA Lawn, it would be fixed in about three days. Um, so they're gonna, it, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean, maybe they'll patch those, but at the same time, if you're not getting anything new, Okay, um, but then okay, then it goes down to once again, we'd like to thank community for the continued support. We are truly grateful for the constructive feedback we have received to this point. I hope to keep hope you keep it coming. This direct feedback from the players has been instrumental to the ongoing success success of GT Online. Got to throw that in there, and Red Dead Online, and an integral element of what helps keep uh, helps us to continue to evolve and improve as we push ahead towards the future please stay tuned to the newswire and follow us on twitter instagram facebook blah 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 uh so basically they are just uh they're doing enough to where they can keep getting microtransactions and not get in trouble telegram missions are garbage i don't care if they come out with the best telegram missions ever they're garbage point a to b bag missions pick this up drop this over here done sit for 12 minutes maybe and you get paid more um we already have that we don't need any more of that and uh yeah, what I honestly think is either Red Dead is completely dead. Now they will not stop playing, uh, not making it where you can't play it. The servers will stay up. Uh, Red Dead Online 1 multiplayer servers are still up. 
Um, but it'll get to where the God mode, just more people know about it if they don't patch that. Off radar is just toxic and garbage. It's worse than on God mode to me because at least in God mode, you can get them out of it. Um, but yeah, my, my thought is either one, they're just gonna let maintain and just die out and uh, just stay there to where they can get some, you know, just some passive income for gold bars and uh, not have to worry about it too much. Just set it off to the side. Or say this time next year, they come out with an update. And what I believe they really probably want to do, and this is me speculating, because at this point, what else we have left? That they want to have any players that are probably ranked 300 or more that has bought everything, that has probably almost a million dollars. Some players, probably not if you're ranked 300, but if you're up close to a thousand, you do. Um, they want those players gone. They want you pissed off. Um, so that's a good way not to patch off radar and God mode because a lot of the higher ranked players, not all of them, but a lot of them are PVP players and are having to put up with it and getting frustrated and move on. And then randomly you'll run into off radar or uh, you know a God mode player in, in, in random uh, scenarios throughout the game, but it's not too much. It's usually in PVP type stuff. And then they're gonna start it fresh. They'll start it fresh sometime next year this time and then uh, and go with it there. But at the same time, it could just be dead off and uh, they're just gonna maintain the servers because that's what they're saying. Gonna maintain a healthy Red Dead Online experience. So anyway, guys, just wanted to bring this to you. It's definitely a downer. There is no silver lining in this. Um, but yeah, it is what it is at this point. Like I said, I would uh, wait. I'm gonna keep playing it and we'll keep doing what I can until it's just unplayable. Uh, in my stream a little while ago before I made this video, so we'll drive it to the wheels fall off. Um, but yeah. It definitely is not good stuff, guys. It's definitely not good stuff. So just wanted to cover this. Like I said, I don't do been doing many of these because the monthly things like the one that came out this week, I didn't even bother doing a video on it because it's just junk. It's just junk. So anyway, guys, yeah, uh, share this with your friends. Let your friends know. Uh, I would definitely probably uh, deter anybody that is an existing player from buying any gold bars or wasting their money. Um, you know, at the same time, people are like, oh, you're going to hurt the community going forward. Well, at this point, it's already hurting fractured. So what's the point though? you know, save 20 bucks and not buy gold bars. But anyway, guys, as always, always try to bring you videos that actually make sense. And there's a purpose to it. This video is a little bit longer than normal, but just kind of wanted to give my little thoughts and opinions along with reading what they had to say. So anyway, guys, the channel will keep going forward. And uh, if Red Dead Phillies dies off, we will cover something and still hang out as always. But anyway, guys, like always, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting the sub button and bell notification. You get notified every time I go live or hopefully every time I go live or whenever I post a video. Also to give the video a like, it just helps out, especially when there's not much going on Red Dead Online. I appreciate getting your support over all the years. We'll see what happens, but um, definitely is not looking good at all. I mean, from their own mouth, they are saying it. So anyway, guys, as always, I'll catch you guys next time in the next video.